Welcome to this corner of my room. We've never been here before, have we? No, we have not. You may or may not know, but a few weeks ago I went to Busan. And one of the things I did while I was there is I went to my first Jimjibang. A Jimjibang is basically just like a Korean public bath, I guess, or spa. A lot of my foreigner friends um, enjoy going to Jimjibangs, uh, but I had personally never gone before the one in Busan. I don't know why. I was kind of afraid to go alone, but at the same time, you have to like walk around naked. So I was like, wouldn't it be better to go alone than go with your friends? Like I can't tell which one is weirder. I don't know why I thought she walked around naked like the whole time. I don't know. I just did not know what I was on about. So I had never been to a Jimjilbang before, but my friend Lauren, who I went to Busan with, recommended that we go. It was my first experience at a Jimjilbang and it was Korea's biggest Jimjilbang. Um, so it was a really special, like, super cool experience for me. I had a lot of fun. So I think I'm just gonna walk you through it step by step. The one that we went to, Spa Land, is in this huge apartment store. And I think it's the biggest one in Korea? In the world? No. No way. Where's my phone? At this integral moment, where did I put my phone? Let me just fact check myself real quick. Wow. Shinsuke Centum City Department Store is registered in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest shopping complex in the world. So you have to go into Centum City. You can get there from the outside, but we went in through like a weird ass back entrance in the like next to like Louis Vuitton or something. You pay first at the desk and I think you get a total of four hours in there and then they'll start charging you if you stay there for longer. But if you buy $10 worth of food or something, you can stay there for an extra two hours. You know, like the more you spend, you can extend your time in there. They have a number on the receipt and you go to this huge bay of lockers and you find the number that corresponds with yours and you put your shoes in there. And yeah, from that point on, you're like barefoot, which was real weird for me. I don't know why. It was just like a huge two-story sprawling complex and I was just like walking around barefoot. So you go and you'll, the lady will give you some clothes and a towel. So just a shirt and pants with like an elastic waist, very comfy, it's got a pocket, one pocket, and one little towel. And then you take your clothes and you, you have your key with you from your shoe locker and you take that same number and go into the locker rooms corresponding to your sex. This is a mixed jimjabong, so like obviously the bath parts are separate. The rest of the facilities are all mixed sex. But there are some jimjabongs that are like men only or like women only. The women's locker rooms are directly connected to the women's baths. So we just went straight and took all of our clothes off and went to the baths. How they keep it so clean and like not gross is first of all, before even entering any of the pools, you obviously have to shower first. So they have shower banks. You can choose to sit down and shower yourself or they have shower stalls where you can stand up. And then also you have to keep your hair up. Some of the women will use their towel, the little towel they give you. It's not big enough to cover anything. It's like the size of a hand towel or a dish towel. And you can, you know, put your hair up. This place had, God, I don't know how many baths. A sprawling vast amount of baths, all at different temperatures. There's some that have jets. There's some that don't have jets. There's some with like ionized water or like there's some with like a different kind of water. And they go from there's like cold, cold pools, and then there's also like boiling hot, like I could not go in pools. Apparently, there is even an outside portion that's connected to the women's bath only for women. I guess you go out in the nude. And I think there's more baths outside, but that section was unfortunately closed due to COVID 19 restrictions, so um, we didn't go. It was fun, it was a lot of fun, and honestly, I could just sit in the little tile baths in this nice big room, just like chatting, gossiping with my friends for hours and I really see why people do it. It's very relaxing and it's very like, it feels very like, it's just very relaxing. I don't know how else to say it. So you can spend all day in those pools if you want to until you become a prune, get out, rinse yourself off, scrub your body off with salt if you really are into pain. Huge area with lots of mirrors and hair dryers and toners and combs that they have and sanitizers and all, anything you can imagine just to, you know, make sure once you're out of the bath you can dry off and look somewhat presentable before you head back out into the main area. I think people go there on dates. I don't like, it doesn't make sense to me. We made ourselves presentable, got our clothes back on, and it's 
kind of weird. I was walking around and I was like, nobody here has a bra or underwear on. I guess nobody in a gym jabon cares. It's like different rules. So we left the bath and locker room portion and headed out into the main activities portion of the gym jabon. Like I could not in a million years try and accomplish everything I could have. Like there was not enough hours in the day for me to get everything done that you could do in this gym jabong. The first thing we did was we headed aimlessly pretty much down the hallway after trying to figure out the um, like map. It had a map like it was a mall because it's the size of a mall. Um, so it was this beautiful atrium, like the interior was very lush, very nice. It's like a higher class, like luxury style Jim Jibang. Um, they're not all this nice, so I think I'm really spoiled um, as far as this being my first experience with one. Um, but it was still great nonetheless. Everything is nice and like in wood tones with a lot of light and it's like so just like, ah, like yo yo like very like, just like. I didn't really want to film a lot in the Jim Jibang in general because it was really cool but it was also A, relaxing and B, felt vaguely like an invasion of privacy because nobody had on underwear, under their clothes, but still. There's this outside glass encased area where you can sit down on a sun lounger and then if you go over to your right, you can go outside into this thing where you kind of wade into this little just tiny foot bath. I guess it's an outdoor pebble foot bath that you walk around in. It's heated water. You walk around and it's like those like kind of like walking on those acupuncture slippers that have all the stones on them and it really like you really feel it on your feet. But there's a nice outdoor area with like foliage and stuff and you can just kind of sit there. And if we were to go to the left, there's all the saunas and like the main area with all of the saunas. So you've got dry saunas, wet saunas, I don't even know that much about saunas. There's a pyramid sauna where it just looks like you're in a pyramid. There's one room that's just all blue and it's like really cold and why would I sit in there? It's like an ice box. I don't know. There were saunas that were so hot I did not know how people could stay in there and then they're like don't bring your phone in here it will explode. It was a good time, but yeah, there are all sorts of themes for the inside, and so even if it was like, oh, I'm going into another hot room of suffering, it's like, this one, the floor is all salt. That one was super cool. It was all salt. It was a salt room. Like, are you kidding me? They have the coolest theme rooms ever. And there's levels of hotness, right? There's some rooms that are like, oh, it's a sauna, it's like a little bit hot, and then there's some rooms that are like, if you go in here for more than five minutes, like, you're gonna die. Like, so hot. It has wave dream room. I don't even know what that means. What is a wave dream room? It has 13 different themed saunas for you to experience. Did anybody ever think that was too many saunas? Apparently not. I could spend all day just going into different rooms of torture. And it would be no problem. So that's the sauna portion, and then there's the entertainment zone. So we had the bath zone, we had the sauna zone, and then you have the entertainment zone, entertainment zone, which had an arcade in it. So there's an arcade, there's a restaurant, apparently there's a barbershop, you can get your nails done. There's an entire relaxation room. There's a spa, like an entire separate spa where you can get professional massages, professional facials, very expensive stuff done to you. And there's a whole suite of massage chairs, there's a cafe literally anything you could think of. I could probably file my taxes here. There's an accountant somewhere, I swear to God. Like, you could live here. I was starting to get hungry, and so we went to the restaurant, and that was super cool. It's Korean style, we sat on the floor, and the food was pretty inexpensive and a good amount, and tasted good. Plus, that counts towards your spending, so if you eat food there, that's already about $10 for your meal, which gives you an extra two hours or so in spa land, um, in the Jim Jibong. So we had a very good meal, the view was good, it was actually a sunny day outside, all light and wood and stuff. And then after that we all went to the relaxation room which is just this huge room, just full of reclining chairs with little TVs attached to them. It's dark and it's quiet and people are just kind of sitting there, just all quiet together. And then we fell asleep there for like an hour or two. <laughs> I'm sure there's a ton of stuff that I'm missing that I just honestly did not get the chance to experience because there was so much stuff. This was by far my favorite thing I think I've ever done in Busan. I've never really had a great day at the beach. The aquarium was like a 6 out of 10, but this Jimjobang was like a 10, 10 out of 10. 
The only thing that was horrible was that I was sunburned and so getting in and out of all of these things was painful. You left looking gross, well I left looking gross but feeling really, really, really good. So if you are ever in Busan, I highly recommend, you know when you go on vacation and like the third day you have no energy? This is where you go. You spend the day in the Jim Jobang for like $40, you get a great day of relaxation, all these sorts of amenities, and like 20 baths. Like I would go back to Busan just to go back to that Jim Jobang, if I'm honest, it would be worth the trip for me. <laughs> if you have any Jim Jobang recommendations that are on par with that one, in Seoul, let me know. Yeah, oh, one last thing. They give you these towels, right? Like, this is probably bigger than the towel they give you. So you'll see a lot of the Koreans do like the little buns. If you ever seen any Korean TV shows, usually when they go to spas, they do that. I don't know, just because it's cute. So Lauren taught me how to do it. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So you have your towel, and then you have to fold it into thirds. Wow. Eh. Right, so then you have like, it's folded into thirds. You go from one end and you just like roll it out like kind of like a sleeve of a sweater. <laughs> wow, Kelsey. And then you can go to the other side and roll a little bit. Keep rolling until you think until you think the middle section here is big enough to fit on your head and then you kind of get that little hollow and you can put it on your head. Mine is too too big still. Right? And now I've got my little sheep sheep head towel thing. So next time if you go to a gingerbong and you didn't know how to do this, you can do it. I can do it. It's cute and it also gives you something to do with your towel. Anyway, so that's my review of my very first gingerbong, which happened to be the largest gingerbong in Korea. I had a great time. I recommend it to everybody. If you have a chance, please go for me and relax. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!